and welcome back. It's your boy, Toronto Brad, the T dot O dot, aka the Granny Chaser. And today's video, I'm just going to do a quick recap of my stay in Manila. And is it worth it to stay there as a single man doing your single man travel to Asia lifestyle? Now, I know what you guys are going to say. You know, it's boring there. It's not like Bangkok, you know. You, you really should go somewhere that's more exciting, like Pattaya or Phuket. You know, somewhere that's not Philippines. But, you know, I just like a change. For me, coming from Toronto, it's, it's still a nice change up. You know, to be living in hotels is much nicer for me than living back home in Canada. So I like that. You know, seeing nice ladies is nicer too in the Philippines. And even the nightlife is still all right for me. I didn't mind. Now, keep in mind, <laughs> when I was out there exploring the nightlife, obviously Nita didn't like it because she's like, why you always go out? You just leave me here at the hotel all by myself and just by myself on my phone. And I'm just doing my thing. But, you know, it's just life, man. I just want to be out there alone. I'm just like that. I'm single man travel to Asia guy. I don't really want to get tied down. I already explained that to Nita so many times. So I'm explaining it to you guys now that, you know, I just travel solo. I just do my own thing. I think when I do my trip out to Thailand, I'm going to be solo traveling, man. Like it ain't going to be nobody hanging out with me. All right. Like I have Nita there just chilling behind me right there. I'm going to be solo traveling, single man travel to Asia lifestyle. That's my genre, man. I don't got nobody tagging along with me. You know, I can meet up with Nita later in Dubai, but that ain't that ain't really technically Asia, even though it technically is Asia. <laughs> but I'll go when she has a day off, I'll, I'll roll up on Dubai and I'll see her at that time. But for now, I'm single man in Asia. I'm going to be out there exploring the nightlife. I'm going to be doing the um, live streaming. And by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys know, but... Your contributions really piled up last month. I think we got $500 in contributions last month. So thank you so much. So I'm going to put that in the till. I think we're up around $21 to $2,300. So I just need another, what, $2,700 and have 5 k which is, I think is enough for a trip to Thailand, especially if I'm only paying $300 out of LA to get to Thailand one way or 600, uh, 600 return. So we got some options there. But anyways, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be live streaming 12 hours a day, giving you that full nightlife vibe when I get out there. So I hope you guys um, stay tuned. You know, keep aware of what's going down. Keep the bell notification going, especially when September hits. Planning to be out there by the middle of September, September 15th. That would be the go-to date, but it could all be uh, changed up. We'll see.